just back from Hobbycraft. We didn't buy loads of stuff, but I bought a few little bits that I thought was worth sharing. We really went for one main thing, and that was what I've got on my lap here. This is the Brother LS14 sewing machine. I don't know if you've got that all in shot there or not, but we bought this um, because Tyra has been doing some sewing recently, and previously we borrowed a sewing machine, but there's I've got lots of things that I would quite like to make, and I know he has too. And this was a really good price. It was only £64, um, which seemed really good for like a starting out sewing machine. So we thought that we would go and get it and yeah, they had a, a nice selection there. This one actually has got a three year guarantee with it and you can have free sewing lessons in store, which, which I thought was quite fun. I don't think that's necessary, but it, that's a nice thing to offer. And the other things that we got were some origami paper. Trevor has been, um, again, more into his origami recently. I'm sure we had some paper somewhere, but I, I can't find where it is. I would like to know if you've got, like, this was £7, so I think that's quite expensive. So if you've got a good place to get origami paper from, I know the paper that they do in the works is really good because it's already in a square, but it's a little bit too thick. And then I got this little sticker book, which is from Tim Holtz and it's got inside like lots of stickers there's actually 900 stickers in there i thought that they would be good for using in my file effects i really wanted to get a tiny tiny number stamp but they didn't have any so i'm going to use those for now um, and i was going with a black and white theme because i also got this um project life set this one was eight pounds and i really like the quotes and things that are in this one and the colors really appealed to me for that monochrome feel and you do get to see on the back kind of a, a snapshot selection of what's in there i was a little bit disappointed with the selection of project life stuff that they had at hobbycraft i think i'll probably stick to buying it online i went planning on buying a lot more than I actually did. They just didn't have um, any embellishments or the, the things that I was really looking for. I started my Project Life book last year when I wanted to track my allotment and I've still got that um, smallish Project Life folder, but I'm just not using it enough. And I think the reason is I'm having a lot of trouble printing the pictures. I'm quite interested in getting a selfie, but I know there are other um, like wireless printers like that, portable ones that are available. So do let me know in the comments below what you use or what you recommend, because I feel like that's holding up the whole process really, because I haven't got the photos printed to just get on with it. And if I had something like that where the photos were printed immediately, I'm sure I would use it more. But I'm actually now using some of those Project Life pages in my Filofax as dividers and sticking in the, the inserts and photos into those. It's kind of a, a mixed media Filofax, I guess. So the last thing that I got was um, a Jelly Roll pen. And this is a medium one and it's to write on those black and white pages can see that there there you go that's the tip on it so it should show up on those pages and I am finding by kind of mixing my planner and my project life together I'm at least getting through and using some of my project life cards and I st I'm still struggling with the photos in it but I feel like I'm making more use of the pocket pages that I already have but I definitely want to get back into my project life and use it for what it's intended to. I just need to figure out the picture thing. So that's everything that I got for today. Thanks for watching guys, <laughs> bye bye. It's a new allotment that we've just got this year so I really wanted to keep a track of everything.